Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about a PL SQL based concurrent program with two input parameters, which are based on the value set. The first one is a table set, table value set, which is, a, which is a kind of, you know, I can say it's like a independent table value set. And the second one is a table value set, which is a dependent value set, nothing but an invoice ID, which is based on the BU or org ID. Let us see the result first, and then we can discuss how we have designed that program. So now I'll try to run the program. View request, submit a new request, and let me run the program, which is XX invoice, a BU extract, XX aura AP invoice with BU details extract. So now the input parameter, what it requires is a BU name as well as invoice number. So now what I'll do is I'll try to enter some particular BU. So maybe let us say, I'll select a specific BU which I want to consider. So maybe I want to select an invoice from the vision operation. So I'll just try to hard code this one. Okay, so now I'll just mention the BU name as, so I can select from the list of values. I'll just click on percentile and press tab out. It will provide a pop-up like this. Now I'll select vision operations, click on find. Yes, it is providing a result. Now I click on, if I click on this particular one, it shows the list of invoice numbers. It provides a list of invoice number and I would like to select a specific invoice number. Let us say I would like to select this one ERS 8319. And I'll just mention here and click on find. It should provide the result. Perfect. So now what is happening? I'm providing a business unit name and invoice number. Even though column names are like uh, the display names are showing like this, we can change it. But for now, can consider this as invoice. This is a BU name and this is my invoice number. I click on OK. Once you click on Submit, it generates a request ID. And now click on No, click on Find. Now observe here, the parameters are not shown as BU name invoice number. It is showing the BU ID as well as invoice ID. But why it is happening, we'll understand. But for now, I'll just click on Refresh Data and check it out the output. Click on view output and we should be able to see the invoice extract now. So the BU ID, invoice ID, we got it. And these are the details which we have mentioned in the PL SQL logic. Now let us understand the program in detail one by one. So this is our program name. I will navigate to the concurrent program. And here, let us see the value sets first. So I'll click on parameters. And as I said, you, we have two parameters. One is BU ID, other one is invoice ID. And the display name, you can change it. Let us say the LOV prompt and the this one, you can change it. Now let us, I can mention it as, in, or select BU name. And here also, you can select, you can mention the relevant one. It's okay. Now, what is the BU name? It is XXORA BU name new. And for the invoice ID, the name is XXERA. AP invoice ID new. So now we have seen there are two parameters. Let us see the definition of these two in these two value sets. Okay. Now I'll just go to value sets here and search the value set. The first value set is the business unit name value set. I'll select this. Click on search. It's a table value set. Check the information carefully. This list of value list type is list of value. Format type is character. The maximum size is 240. Validation type is table. Nothing but we have to mention the table details or a query details. Now, what we want to return, we want to, I mean to say, we want to show the name to the business user, but for the technical way, like we want to return an organization ID from this particular value set. That is the reason in the ID, we mention organization ID and for the value, we mention name. So nothing but this name will be shown to the user while running it. After come of like uh, once user selects the value, when you click on a submit, in the background, it passes organization ID to the calling program. That's the logic behind it. Now, this is a value set which is totally independent, even though it is table based. Why I'm calling it as independent? Because in the where clause, you have not, you're, this particular value set is not depending upon any other value set. It, this is a table kind of table value set we can call it as. Now, let us the other value set, which is a dependent value set, which takes the BUID or org ID as an input. Let us see that. F11, search the value set. Same thing, list of values, no security character. And here I mentioned 100. Click on edit information. Now, observe this carefully. The value is nothing but this is a value which will be shown to the business user. This is a value which is written from this particular value set to the calling program. And now here, what are we doing? We are trying to pass the org ID. We are trying to pass the org ID is equal to NVL of org ID. So here, what is the syntax I mentioned? Colon dollar flex dollar. So what it is happening is it will refer to the, the parent value set while calling it nothing but First of all, we as a user will mention the BU name. Once you mention the BU name, 
this particular variable will hold the buid this variable will hold the buid yeah i think this is here i have to mention or guide yeah this is the wrong here yeah i have to mention or guide so here we have to mention like this is a where clause okay and what will happen if at all if you are passing the buid or the org id org id will be passed if you don't pass the org id what will happen it will try to fetch all the invoice numbers so this is how we can try to modify a value set based upon other value set okay now this is a logic behind the concurrent program definition now let us observe the the pl sql in definition behind it so what is our program name we have to find out what is a what is a pl sql package behind it so i'll just search the executable information so this is our concurrent executable we'll copy this now go to the concurrent executable and find out what is the pl sql procedure behind it so this is xxora ap utils get ap invoice details with bu get ap invoice details with bu that is our program name so this is our package xxora ap utils get ap invoice details with bu so whenever you define a procedure as a concurrent program the first two parameters should be error buff and return code after that you mention what are the parameters you have in your concurrent program mention them now we mentioned buid as well as invoice id and then we have defined a cursor which is getting the data now as per our logic what we are assuming that a invoice or guide is mandatory but invoice id is not mandatory okay so we have considered that the user always has to provide the org id and the invoice number okay if it doesn't pass also we have to try, we have to fetch all the data if he passes the invoice id get the data of that specific invoice id if you don't pass the invoice id get all the invoices of that particular bu that's the logic we have written it coming to the begin section so we have used fnd file put underscore line for the purpose of printing the date printing the information in the output as well as we also written some information to print the data in the log also fnd file dot log and then we have written a cursor we have written a for loop with the for the cursor and then printing the output and that's it you're closing it now we'll try to run the same program without any bu and let us see what will happen now so i'll just new xx order percentile extract now i'll select vision of if you observe here right the invoice site is not getting enabled until unless you select the bu that's a dependency vision operations and i'll simply click on okay and let us see what will happen so this may take maybe a couple of minutes or seconds depending upon the performance of the system or depending upon the performance of the query yeah it got completed and let us see click on view output we should be able to see all the invoices which are belonging to the vision operations of course it's maybe around yeah i think 10000 or 20000 records yeah so this is how we can define a dependent value set and also a concurrent program which is based on a pl sql thank you